Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to use 35mm film in a 120 camera using a set of adapters and a take-up spool. So you can buy these adapters online. I sell mine on eBay. There'll be a description, um, a link in the description below. Um, you have two adapters. One has a longer piece and one has a shorter piece. Um, both of which have a little notch cut out of them. And that allows you to, inside the 35mm canister, there's a line here in this one, and on this side there's a kind of broken line. If you can really see that, but there's a there's two notches in there. So the piece that sticks out of the canister, you use the piece the adapter that doesn't stick out as far. So you don't use this one, you use the shorter one. And what you do is you find your notches there and then you try and line up the slot to go into that. And a little wiggle. And once it's flush with the edge of the canister that's it incorrectly. And you do the same on the other side, so find the line inside, take that slide it in and there we go we've done the first part now you can use the um, canister and the adapters just like this in 35 mil um, into the 120 camera um, now this is the back of my um, Bronica and if I open it up you could just use the take-up spool that I've got already along with these however I'm actually going to use the take-up spool and the take-up spool is really fairly simple you can see through the slot there's actually a notch inside on both sides and that's so that the holes here in the film can catch on so you just slot it through and it will catch on the notch and that's it gripped and then you can just fold it over bring it around and there we go, now you, you enter, or you, you load that into your camera. Like that. Didn't quite catch it properly. Give it a couple of twists around. And there we go. You load that into the camera, and that's it. Simple as that. So some, some people have asked how you would use the adapters properly in um, a film back or in a 120 camera. So here I've loaded the film into the side. Now the picture side, the side that you want exposed to the light is the matte side of the film, uh, not the shiny side. So I'm going to bring that over the film plane which is here in my Bronica camera right over. And this is the take-up side. I'm then going to get my take-up spool and find the slot, slide that in there all the way through and it'll catch on the notches that are inside and roll that in a couple of times, there we go and then marry up the slots, the grooves and the slot on that side can be a little bit tricky, um, especially not the best light here. Uh, there we go, so that would be it in there now. And then close that. So that's how the film will be in the camera. Um, now the picture fills this whole film plane here, so you can see it's going to go right across these holes. Um, and you get a kind of weird, kind of funky effect. Um, then I take the film back. Um, and it simply slides in. Now obviously different uh, 120 cameras such as old brownies work slightly differently um, but it's the same principle. This is quite a tight fit here um, you just have to slide over gently, clips in and then snap shut and then I can load that onto the um, camera and then when I'm ready to take the picture slide that out and it takes the picture, slide it back in and then just use the, the wind on knob to uh, move forward um, and advance the pictures. It's as simple as that.